Good evening guys. So this evening I've come to uh, the Panorama Tower at Croom. Um, it's a lovely warm summer's evening. Uh, the wind is uh, picking up unfortunately so you may struggle to hear me a little bit. But um, it's been very hot of late and uh, this evening's forecast is for the uh, it's for the temperature to drop a little bit, the wind to pick up and then for uh, some clouds in the sky actually which is quite a rarity. Uh, for the past five weeks or so we've had very little in the way of clouds um, so hoping to get some interesting landscape shots tonight been to this location a couple of times before and uh, it generally it generally delivers nice images uh, i was here a couple of weeks back and the uh, the conditions were lovely but there was no clouds there's no clouds in the sky so i was presented with a, a sunset which was all very very beautiful to look at and there was nothing really in the sky to, um, to, to anchor the image to. So, so I'm hoping for something a little bit better tonight with some clouds in order to capture the light from the sun as it sets below the horizon. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but uh, just underneath the sun, you should see just a uh, slight highlight. And that looks like um, a field full of the, the real soft green grasses. I'm not sure of the actual plant type, but I'll take a quick walk down there now and see if that field makes for a nice image to be had before moving on up to the uh, the panorama tower and um, which is just to my right over here on top of the hill there look at that light streaming through underneath the factory absolutely stunning so from here I'm actually shooting uh, towards the sun and the sun is just literally dropping behind uh, the horizon now behind the back of a tree and it's casting this glorious orange warm light towards me um, across the grasses in front of me so I'm just going to take the shot now and um, I'll show you what it looks like in a few moments so this is my composition you've got the tree with the sun streaming in from underneath it as it sets in the background giving a nice silhouette and we've got a nice skyscape above it as well. Glorious. This is how I've currently, it looks in the back of my uh, Pentax. Um, it will need a bit of processing, but I'm quite happy with that. Okay guys, so time is of the essence now really. I always double check to make sure I've not left anything. I don't think I have. Um, so I'm gonna try and make my way up actually to the Panorama Tower. I'm gonna to try and work out the best way of getting up there. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a slog, but um, I think this will work. So uh, here we go. So. So as I was saying, I came to this location a couple of weeks back and um, the conditions were very nice, but there wasn't really much in the way of sky. So I'm gonna try and get a better composition this time. Ah, uh, cock, <laughs> stuck in a field. Uh, the sky, is in completely the wrong direction. Right, so guys, I'm gonna dash back to the car, relocate. Okay guys, so that was a bit awkward. The sun's setting very fast, and I thought there was a public footpath leading up to the panorama tower from my position. Um, sadly, it's not the case, so I've had to double time it quick back to the car. It's about a quarter to half a mile walk, and now I'm gonna quickly set off up the road to another path which I know goes straight to the Panorama Tower. So I'll be with you in a few moments. So now I've just got to get over this fence. This fence. I think there may be, oh, legend, look at that. Okay, so now it's the case of making my way 
um, across a dirt track through a field of sheep and um, over towards the Panorama Tower. The uh, beauty of this location is in fact that it gives you a, a great view over towards the Malvern Hills, which is around about six miles from here, seven miles maybe. Um, but I'll show you that now. So you should be able to see in the background the Malvern Hills and the sun's setting down in the distance there. But look at that sky. It's pretty impressive. Okay guys, so I'm set up now at my subject which is a panorama tower. The sun is fast fading now behind the horizon, but it's lighting up the sky in a beautiful pinks, oranges, and this really nice soft colour but warm colour. Um, I'm currently focused onto my subject using a 50mm prime lens, and at this sort of distance from my subject, the prime lens and the subject itself fills the frame really nicely. Um, my current settings um, on this are around about f11 and 0.5 of a second and this allows for a, a fairly decent exposure the highlights aren't blown out and isn't the shadows aren't too dark so it's uh, it's going to look very nice okay guys so uh, that's the end of my little sunset adventure in Worcestershire at the panorama tower um, unfortunately the lights dropped off quite quickly now as you can see and it's uh, fading very fast below the horizon um, I'm not so sure there's going to be much of a much of a, a warming sunset tonight um, kind of hoped it would be but in fact maybe a little bit too much cloud has come in um, which has resulted in you know, smothering out the light um, generally the best uh, sunsets are when you get a lot of high level cloud um, and actually this is actually quite low level um, so not many thousand feet high unfortunately but oh well it's still an, an enjoyable enjoyable trip out um, i hope that the i hope you've enjoyed this particular vlog um, like i said tried it something a bit different this time um, normally obviously i'd be on my uh, mobile phone just doing a video recording uh, this time i'm using uh, my canon 7d mark ii um, with the standard kit lens i'm um, gonna try and and see what the video quality is like in comparison to the two. But uh, so yeah, all in all, uh, quite an enjoyable evening out. It's a lot cooler than it has been in recent days, so it's been nice to get a bit of fresh air whilst I make my way through the through the sheep. Meh, meh, yeah, meh, sheep. They're all right. I bet that one's got a gammy leg. Yeah, field full of sheep. Hi, right, sheep. Meh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now I need to find my way out. There's a gate around here somewhere. All right. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for joining me on my little vlog. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, please put them in the comments below. Um, and if you like what I'm producing and you want to see more, um, a little bit of encouragement goes a long way. If you'd like to like and subscribe to my little channel, that'd be marvellous. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Till then, peace. <laughs>